644, uh, we have the uh, opportunity to speak with uh, the City of Ames through their uh, PR professional, Susan Guazda, to tell us about a proposed health center in Ames. Uh, what's the theme again of this? It's called? The Healthy Life Center, and the idea is focused around live well, be well. And you are hoping just to give people an idea on what's at stake here. I mean, it's this is this is a big project. I mean, just to put it frankly, this would be the largest uh, project that the city has ever uh, taken on. We're not doing it alone. We have six collaboration partners. The city of Ames would partner with Mary Greeley Medical Center, our local health care provider, Iowa State University, DMAC, Story County, and Heartland Senior Services. Why is this important? Given what's also to come with the high schools and I mean, this, this is aimed not only to be a really cool, fancy new place, and it's going to take some dollars to get there, but it's also going to fill a void, you were telling me. Absolutely. So as you know, we've, uh, we have kind of a health crisis in our country. We have a lot of sedentary lifestyles. We have obesity issues. We have chronic disease and, and pain management to, to work with work against. And in Ames, we're going to lose our public indoor swimming pool. Um, we're very excited that Ames High will be rebuilt. It will be rebuilt with a competitive mm -hmm. swimming pool. That does not necessarily meet the needs of our families and our seniors who want a warm water aquatic yeah. center. Yeah. And so we have that void coming up. We also have these six entities who are really excited about working together. And um, we feel like a facility that um, addresses multiple needs will create a lot of synergy, a lot of activity. Uh, we're looking at health and nutrition, physical activity, and really an important concept, social networking. Got you. Uh, will this be something open to the public? Or will it be membership based? How do you? Right. Both how does, of those. How the people? Yeah. Yeah. You enjoy sure. This. So you could um, come in and pay admission for one day. You could. Uh, buy a membership and become an annual member. Lots of different things are being worked out. We, you know, at, at the at the crux is, is making this affordable. Yeah. So we want people to be able to use the facility. Um, the whole health and wellness aspect of it is so important. Got you. And it's going to be up to uh, the voters if they're going to want to fund that uh, 20 million, I believe, is their piece of the pie here. So 29 million dollars would be okay. what the taxpayers asked to fund. It's a 49 million dollar facility. Uh, has the large uh, indoor aquatic center. It has gymnasium, a uh, large gymnasium, a walking track. Um, all of those um, together, $49 million, very large facility, um, $20 million has been financed, and $20 million has been financed, and yep. $29 million would come from the taxpayer. Okay, so voters, you have on Tuesday, September 10th to make this decision. Again, this was an opportunity to kind of hear more about the project. More information is available where? On our website, cityofames.org slash Healthy Life Center. And obviously, we want people to become educated about this decision. Very important. Uh, vote your voice. Uh, okay. Let us know what you think. There you go. More discussions coming up as well. Susan, thank you so much for yes, coming on. Yes, great to and be here.